How long have you got? Two minutes? Let's go. The story of the Roman Republic begins circa 509 BC with the rejection of monarchy by the Romans, involving the justly famous story of Lucius Junius Brutus, one of Rome's first consuls, its new executive officers, who was so committed to rejecting the tyrannical essence of monarchy that he ex executed his own sons for their part in a conspiracy to return Rome to the rule of one. Creating a true republic that defended individual rights required the evolution of a variety of institutions beyond the consulship, including the Tribunate, which protected the peasants of Rome specifically, and a constitution called the Laws of the Twelve Tables. Tragically, as these institutions were taking hold, Rome embarked on an infamous expansionary bid that would lead to the period of Roman Empire. From 390 to 264, the Romans conquered Italy, whose people they attempted to integrate into their republican form of government. But when Rome collided with another imperial power, the Carthaginians, in the Punic Wars from 264 to 146, the conflict between the progressive republican element in Roman culture and the malevolent imperial element tilted permanently in favor of the latter. The Romans defeated the Carthaginians and enslaved them, leading to the exacerbation of enduring tendencies in Roman culture to divide society into rulers and ruled, the so-called patricians and plebeians. Not wanting to be ruled, the lower classes turned to two sibling demagogues, the Gracchi, circa 133 BC, to try to subject Rome's republican system to democratic control. The result was the reignition of class conflict which Rome had tried to reduce. Unable to properly define a commitment to individual rights, the Romans decided to try to regulate their affairs through the agency of charismatic leaders, Marius and Sulla, whose agendas inevitably clashed, leading to a temporary dictatorship by Sulla circa 81 BC. Intellectually adrift, Rome was ripe for the picking by the corrupt genius of Julius Caesar, conqueror extraordinaire, who infamously led his army into Rome by crossing the Rubicon in 49 BC to clean up the mess it had become. Caesar failed in his bid to become emperor, but his adopted nephew Octavian would rise into the vacuum created by Caesar's assassination by the last rearguard action of Rome's republicans and assume the status of Princeps, first citizen, in truth, the first Roman emperor in 27 BC, known to history as Augustus.